Okay, last news. Saudi Arabia arrests a man seen stepping on the Quran in a viral video. Saudi Arabia uh, arrests a man who anonymously posted an Instagram video of him dropping the Quran on a carpeted floor and then stepping on it with his bare foot. Apostasy is punishable by death in Saudi Arabia, and many uh, social media users are calling for the person's arrest, death, and damnation. So a few clarifying things. This unnamed man is accused of being behind this anonymous Instagram profile that is titled with an Islamic creed and then proclaiming repentance in the bio section. And then it contains one post, which is this video of just this dude's hand dropping it on the floor and then just kind of like just stepping on it. Um, and it's unclear if the man who shared the clip is the person who stepped on the Quran. Um, and there's very little information on this story. I've been looking for more details. If Before anyone finds Frank, more details, please. That, if it was oh. enough. Armin, you're cutting out. Yeah, I know. I, I opened the tab just to see what the comments are saying. And the, my computer's are like, you don't get to do that. You don't get to do anything other than live streaming because this is kind of your computer sucks. All right. So sorry, say that again. Um, I was going to say, if anyone else can find more information um, in this story, I would love if you could send it to me. Um, so you can you send don't it know. to me at my, at my Twitter, which is my handle right mm -hmm. here. Um, so you're, but, you're not, before I got cut out, you were saying that we don't know how they found out it was him or if, it, or even if it is him. We don't know if the person in the video is the same person who posted it and was arrested. That's right. not clear. And I looked on, you know, El Arabi, El Monitor. I looked on some of those sites, but most of the English sites were just repeating the same thing or they would just have the video and maybe one or two sentences. Yeah. So ones that seem to have information were in Arabic and I can't read Arabic. So, um, but there was the Al Arabi um, site in English has a little bit more information, but again, it's an unnamed man, single post. You know, obviously it's gone viral, triggering all kinds of, you know, people calling for his death. And then it just goes on to talk about other people that have been arrested. And actually, I'm glad that they mentioned Rife Baudoui, at least talking mm -hmm. about him being, you know, in jail. Um, so they did bring him up. Um, so it, I'm glad that his name was mentioned. They talked about, you know, him because... They called him a prominent rights, um, a prominent group has been fighting for the case of Raif Badawi. But really, as far as this particular thing, I can't find anything in English. Uh, uh, ARN is saying you could, you could cut paste the Arabic text into Google Translate. Uh, uh, I've tried that. It doesn't uh, quite Google make sense. Works. Wait, if Google you find good works. Arabic news, send it to me. I have a Saudi friend. He can yeah, translate. I, yeah, I have my roommate Saudi. He can oh, cool. translate it for me too. But wow, um, you guys and your Saudi friends. Yeah. Oh, wait, now I'm jealous. I don't have a Saudi friend. He was on uh, your podcast when you secular jihadists. Oh, who, oh, really? That Mwad. guy. Mwad. Oh, my, oh, that's awesome. He's yeah. your roommate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Small world. Yeah. yeah wow. <laughs> I'm the one who introduced them. <laughs> Ali takes care. Ali takes on the scheduling with the guests. I was like, "What day doing. is it?" No. <laughs> yeah, that was a while but, ago, though. It was several years ago. So here's the thing: how do you, what do you guys, res how do you guys respond to people that are saying this was stupid? If you're in Saudi Arabia, don't post a video on Instagram stepping on the Quran. Why would you do that? How do you guys respond to that? Okay. Well, that's what Whether Susanna said. Yeah. Okay. What we don't now, I was talking about you, like you said, we don't know yet if the one who... Let's is assume, the video let's assume, video. I mean, yeah. it is, it, it, okay, whether it was this guy who was arrested or not, we, do we know that the video came from ins, from uh, Saudi, from inside Saudi Arabia? Do we at least know that? It appears I mean, so, but we can't, yeah. 
you know. I mean, the Saudi government wouldn't be losing their mind. I mean, I have videos burning the Quran, and the Saudi government didn't lose their mind over that because I did it in Canada. So I, let's say it's very likely that it happened in Saudi Arabia, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you guys say to somebody that says, that's stupid, don't take such a risk? Okay, I would say whether or not I agree that it's stupid, Hmm. No one should be arrested for this. No one should face execution. Oh, wow. For really, Susanna? That <laughs> wow, well, so brave. Okay. <laughs> you just ignored my question and just answered an easier question. Okay. So, yes, we all agree on that, that somebody, nobody should get arrested over stepping on a book. But the actual question that Susanna is not answering is she's like, what is Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> I didn't is, understand. Is, okay. Is it. Is it a stupid thing or not? So you said whether it's stupid or not, but that's my question. Is it stupid to do something like that? Or is it? No. I don't think you can make that decision for somebody, especially living so, in a co sorry, country Susanna. here, like the United States, right? Yeah. Because we have the freedom to step on a book. So right. when someone lives within a country where they have, you know, they're in a mental prison or a physical prison of not being able to leave their house or not being able to say what they want to say. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like um, it's hard to decide for someone else whether it's stupid or not, because mm. they may feel that this is their resistance, that they feel like they need to make this statement because they're tired of being, you know, forced mm. to believe something or they're tired of having this space between what they think and what they can say and do be so wide that they, that, you know, so many people do things that might be risky mm. in all kinds of other ways because they feel like it's important or it needs to be done or the message needs to be out there, whatever that is. And so mm. for some people, this may be, the way that they feel they have to express themselves, that they're taking that risk, that they're, they're, they're tired of being, you know, imprisoned right. that way. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I was about whenever, to say whenever I hear a lot of background noise, I know that Shopham is ready to talk. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So I was about to say the same thing as Rivka for people like this. It is not usually about their life. I mean, they know the consequences of them doing it in Saudi Arabia. It's about sending a message out there that, yeah, we have to live in such bad ways and everything, even if you know. I mean, it's, it's just about sending the message that, yeah, there are people in here who want to live just as free as the rest I'm, of the world. Or, to or be free. fair, he tried to do it anonymously, so it is a little bit about his life. Well, you can't okay. keep making those videos if they right. come for you. You got to at least protect yourself a little bit. And well, we don't even know if this is the same person. Yeah, yeah. No, but whether he got, he's arrested or not, it's still risky. It's still extremely risky. And some people might be like, "Why are you so dumb? You're in Saudi Arabia. Shut. Keep your mouth shut, and stay alive." Again, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying some people are saying would say something like that. But okay, so my, my okay, so let's stop playing devil's advocate. But here, here's the thing, though. Um, again, I think as long as the, the the only situation where I would be against this is if somebody doesn't know the risk that they're taking. Okay, like just I, I just want to make sure, like if they're doing something like this, they're aware of all the risks that they're taking. And then if they still decide to do so, then they have the, I mean, they're adults, right? And it's their life. If they say, if they think something is worth the risk, we have to understand that they're sacrificing something to themselves for the sake of something, for the sake of the rest of us, right? I mean, that is, that is, I mean, we shouldn't expect people to do that. We shouldn't encourage people to do that. But if people do end up doing that, I think the only response to that is like, thank you, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting because most of the people that in free countries and relatively, and relatively more free countries and a lot more free, like, you know, 
they they say this to people that do not live in free countries not understanding that the reason why they do live in free countries is because of people like them for the because of people that took those risks right like they they get all the rights that you enjoy all the peace that you enjoy all the freedom that you enjoy all every sense of security that you enjoy is because one day somebody before you decided to risk their safety their security their freedom and sometimes their lives and these things have been paid for all the rights that you enjoy you know rights don't come from god rights are not natural ingrained in the fabric of uni in the universe or nature Rights are taken, rights are fought for and paid for in blood. And you guys are just benefiting from that. And now some, when somebody else is trying to do the same thing somewhere else, you tell them to sit down. Uh, no, you say thank you. And you try to help them as much as you possibly can. That's my take. I don't know. Let me know if you disagree, though, in the live chat. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> Fist raise. Like, let's get into it. Um... Plus, I'm just the type of person where I'm a troublemaker anyway, so I'm like, damn the risk. Uh <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I, like a lot of people, I'm not that brave, though. Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, Ermin, you're so brave. You're saying talking against Islam and burning mm -hmm. the Quran. Like, oh, my God, that's so brave. Like, I did that in Canada. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never. I would never. Like, I don't have the balls. I admit it. I don't have the courage that these activists have in Saudi Arabia, Iran, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia. If I was there, I would keep my mouth shut. These people are heroes. These people are brave. I am not. I am not as brave. I would never be as brave as these people are. Yeah, I think that a lot of times people who are so quick to say, why are you doing something so stupid or you should know these are the laws of the country, just don't do it. It's because so many of them, maybe they, at least from countries that have more freedom, it's because they grew up in freedom. So they're willing right. to spit on it. They don't realize how precious it is and how easily it can be taken away and how much it was fought for. So... I agree with you. I think these people are heroes. I don't think it's anyone's. If you don't live there, if it's not you taking that risk, you know, it's not your place to say whether it's stupid or not. The only thing that I'm concerned about, particularly with this video, if we don't know who it is, is if it's some sort of retaliation. If maybe mm. it's someone who did it claiming it's someone else, which is to Armin's point, if they don't know the risks they're taking. Those are the fears that I have sometimes with things like this, that people may be outed in a way that they're not prepared for. Right. Mm. But if a person feels that this is something they want to do or that they need to do or have to mm. do, yes. Right. Yeah. Chris shukran is to the guy in Saudi Arabia. Shukran, shukran. Oh, wow. Okay. Shukran means thank you in Arabic. Uh, yeah, Chris yeah. is saying, Chris is saying rights come from God because then, because then they can not be taken away by moral politicians are gullible. I think Chris's English is not very good. Or I think Chris is trolling. Yeah, maybe. But I'm just going to assume he's not uh, because some people do think like that. Rights do not I mean, if politicians do take rights away, so I don't know, you know, that shows that they don't come from God because they're as easily taken as they're very hard to come by, but they're very easily taken away. Uh, ARN is saying, I don't care that Armin isn't brave enough. I am concerned that Armin's grasp and analysis are frequently very wrong. Okay. Um, all right. That was, yeah. So nobody else tagged the issues of public. Guys, I only, ta I, you, I'm only sorry for not reading comments that our Atheist Republic was tagged because sometimes they highlight comments. But you know, if you really want me to read them, just make sure you tag Atheist Republic. Also, this was our last news. Just to let you guys know, link in the description to become uh, to subscribe to our newsletter because a lot of times you don't get our videos because YouTube and Facebook hates us. But if you subscribe to our newsletter, we'll just send them to you. Um, so just make sure so you subscribe to our newsletter. But that was it. That was great, guys. Oh, make sure to la slap that like button like it's Quran 434. Yes. Uh, yeah, the slap the like button. But all of, 
yes, Surah 434, Surah, Surah 4, Ayah 34. But not just the like button, every single button, all of them, every single one, just go crazy. Everything that you see, like the more engagement, click on the videos that are next to us, click on the like button, click on ARN, you don't like it so much, click the dislike button. Uh, once the video <laughs> is over, yeah, do that. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so... Oh, and... we didn't say uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Oh, yeah, Ramadan Mubarak. Happy Ramadan to everyone. Um, or, and... if you want to eat and drink, Haramadan Mubarak. <laughs> I'm yeah. sending a lot of love to anyone who doesn't have a choice about whether they can fast. Um, there are a lot of people who are forced to fast. I know a lot of our listeners do or in that situation. And I really love you guys. And I hope you're hanging in there. Yeah. Fasting is not good for you if it doesn't include water. So consider not fasting. Especially the people who are working out in the hot yeah. sun, like I see in Morocco. And By the way, I know fasting could be sometimes good, but fasting without wa water, which is the Islamic way, is really bad for you. So again, and I'm not a healthcare expert, but Go do your own research. Besides, they're not necessarily fasting. They're just flipping the schedule. <laughs> yeah, they're fl they're eating a lot more and like eat a bunch and sleep till twelve and then get up and yeah and then yeah. binge eat yeah mm -hmm. right before you or go to bed. Or if you have money, you just leave and go to Europe. <laughs> during Ramadan. In, a lot of people lose uh, gain weight during Ramadan. They do. There's all kinds of articles about how not to gain weight. During Ramadan, I see. yeah, yeah, because they overeat before and after. I mean, when you're really, when you're really hungry after the sunset, you end up binge eating, and you mm -hmm. end up eating more than when you weren't fasting. And uh, the big party all night long, and everyone's making the cookies and all the special food, and yeah. Uh, Soraya is oh saying, I'm, wish, "I'm wishing." Ha Soraya is saying, "I'm wishing happy Ramadan to my Muslim friends and telling them to stay home." I'm wishing happy Ramadan to everybody, not just my Muslim friends. But go on, Susanna. Oh, I just, this is maybe a different topic of discussion, but where I live, there's like this radically inclusive mosque, and they have queer iftar. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> and I really wanted to go this year, but obviously everything's shut down. It, when I went to London, I went to an all-inclusive, gay-friendly um, gender binary friendly uh, mosque with a female imam, and I was almost kicked out. It's very interesting because I went to you London. You went with Faye, right? Yes. She was I talking about it on her channel, and how <laughs> with Jimmy was like, "Shut up! Like you guys are causing trouble." <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> London. <laughs> Jimmy London. Yeah, or, Jimmy yeah. Bangish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Jimmy in, Bangish, yeah. It's very interesting because the fundamentalist Muslims never try to cancel me or silence me or kick me out i mean sure they, if they were in power they would behead me but they would let me speak like at least in free countries it's it's, this, it's the all-inclusive muslims the the hippie woke leftist mosques that have like what always want to cancel me or kick me out it's very, so the you're woke, ruining the safe space <laughs> the, the woke astani mahajadeen came for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> I told them, I'm like, this is supposed to be all inclusive Musk. You're not being very inclusive right now by trying to kick me out. Apparently, inclusive means we include every single thing, like if it has something to do with biology, it has to be your gender, it has to be your skin color, it has to be your sexual orientation. But we're not inclusive all inclusive when it comes to different opinions opinions, opinions right opinions, or ideas yes we're not very inclusive wait but what but, did you get kicked out for people are asking like what did you do <laughs> i was just asking them what what they think and what their views are yeah i was just asking them questions you made them uncomfortable Oh, okay, okay. I think I said one thing that was very uh, triggering. The the one of the khutbas, like the the ceremony, the one of these female um, pe people that was giving the speech, she kept on saying, "I don't know." She had a long speech, and she seemed to blame everything under the sun um, to against white men. And there was this after the whole thing was finished. I went to the white one of the white men in the audience. 
and I told him like, how does that make you feel? He seemed like very, this, the, she was like blaming all the world problems uh, to white men. And he said like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I know how horrible we are. I know that we have a responsibility. I think he assumed that I was like, I wasn't like, I, I think when I was asking him that, he assumed like I was saying like, he, like, don't you feel like he didn't understand my question? Like he thought like I'm actually like accusing him, of, like singling him out, and he was like, like bending the knee to my brownness or whatever. Like yes, you <laughs> to guys. Your brownness. <laughs> like yes, so I'm flagellating sorry. like it's Afro. Please, <laughs> yeah, like, like please, yes, it's all so sorry. Like, and I was like, no, what the hell are you talking? About? I wasn't saying that. I'm just saying like, doesn't doesn't this make you feel like attacked or singled out? Like. And he's like, yes, we should be single death. Like, no, no, shut up. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was interesting. But, yeah. So I, I just want to say one thing. Hmm. I'm trademarking Wokistani Mahajadeen, by the way. What? Wait, that's your invention? As far that's as genius. I know. That's genius. I thought, like, you heard it somewhere. Wow. You did, okay, that's great. I have my location <laughs> on Twitter as Wokistan. <laughs> <laughs> Some Wokistani. people may have said that, but I put the Wokistani Mahajadeen together. So, trademark. I love it. <laughs> That's good. Wait, so does that mean that every time I use that, I have to mention credit you? I'll do that. Okay. Wait, you're going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You know, running the world takes a lot of guilt, yes. a lot of flus. Jewish stereotypes, like we gotta get so much. By the way, Rivka is ex Jew, so she's please don't, please, YouTube, don't strike down this channel. She's don't famous. worry, I'll, I'll let everybody know. Yes, can you please, <laughs> can you please, in the monthly go, meeting, can you please oh tell the God. Zionist masters that control everything, please tell them to not strike us down. Rivka, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll mention your name in the monthly meeting. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I'll do that after I get off the phone with the Freemasons and the Illuminati, yeah. like I was accused they're the of. Same. Today. Susanna, they're all the same I, thing. But pe some people, whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some We're the top it. of the triangle, <laughs> moving all the chess pieces. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This is getting good. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> all right. We're going to go. Oh, my this. God. We're going to get so much shit for this. All right. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, guys. Before we get more, deep, more strike down, I'm going to end this. Bye. Oh, I'm losing it. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look like, oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 